Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have another speed build for Speed Build Saturday. And this time, it's a stressful house. This house took me six hours, well, exactly five hours and 48 minutes. And I wanted to die the entire time. This house is horrible. It is one of the worst houses in The Sims 4. I mean, Del Sol Valley mansions are one thing. At least they, at least this one has a toilet. I mean, they messed up on that one. But this is the three-story Spencer Kim Lewis house. You can't make a three-story house ever really in this game. At least I know I can't. But especially on medium wall height. Like, what are you doing? And every... One looks the exact same. My mom walked in and thought that it was an apartment building. Like, she literally thought it was an apartment building. And I was like, no, this is supposed to be a house for, like, a normal size family. I think there's, like, six of them or something. That's not even that big of a family. I mean, it's a big family. But it's not, like, horrible. Like, you have a billion kids or something. So that was just a disaster. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. As you can probably see in this video, I cut out all of it. Like, I had to cut out half of this video because when I sped it up, it was 40-something minutes. And that was a big problem. And so I had to cut out half of it, at least. So a lot of the outside is cut out. Some of the inside is cut out. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, sometimes we just have to suffer that way, you know? I once again used... All of the packs, I'm sorry. All the packs that I have. I'm really bad at not using all of them. I should probably do a challenge or something where it, like, restricts the amount of packs because I feel kind of bad about this because I use, like, every pack that I own every time. I think I use, like, six expansion packs in this. I don't even have that many packs. Like, I, I mean, I have quite a few, but I don't have that many. I have to pay for all my packs, and I don't have a job. I... You do YouTube and play soccer for a living, which I don't get paid for either, so it's not really for a living. I actually pay for both. Well, my parents pay for soccer, and I pay for everything involving YouTube, which I just actually got a light, so hopefully this is better lighting. I didn't actually buy it. It was in my bedroom, and I was like, hmm, let's give this a try. We're not very professional here, but you know, it's fine. We're getting there. If I get more subscribers, maybe I'll buy more lights. Wink. Wink. No, I'm joking. I won't- I'm not I mean, begging for subscribers at all. Subscribe if you want, but it's a lot of fun here. I'm actually gaining a subscriber, like, every day pretty much, so that's kind of a flex. It's actually not at all, but, you know, we're doing this, kids. So make sure to like and subscribe on this video. We're literally three minutes into this video and I'm already begging for subscribers. <laughs> At this point, after making a video like this, it literally took me so long to do and I have had so many troubles making this video. Like, I can't even express the problems I've had this week. First, this video took me six hours to film, and I was like, I'm sure it won't take this long. This house is a disaster, but probably not. You know, we're in the summer. We have plenty of time. No, I did not have enough time for this. I did not realize that I really did not have enough time. So I spent six hours on this, and then I was having a bunch of technical issues yesterday where literally everything broke. Like, I don't even understand what was happening there. Everything broke with that, then our car battery died, and so then we had to deal with that. That has nothing to do with filming this video, that was just a lot of technical issues yesterday. So we were just dealing with all that, and so I didn't get to film yesterday, and I didn't get to film the day before for a completely different reason. So now we're filming in the middle of the week, the first video I've actually filmed this week, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Also, I'm probably going to have to pre-record soon because I think we're going on a trip. Well, like, not an actual trip because no one's traveling anywhere. Please don't travel anywhere. No, I can't say that because I'm technically traveling. But don't travel anywhere. Like, don't travel to other countries. This is not the time for that. But I think we're going camping. 
So I'm probably going to have to pre-record for that, which is going to be interesting because that's going to be the first time I've ever pre-recorded. So we'll see. I guess that'll be like a kind of a test run for the school year because I might die this school year if I try to keep up what I'm doing now. Like, I know people do videos, like, every day and they're still in school. Like, Little Simsy. If you don't follow her channel, go follow her. I love her. She's my favorite, well, one of my favorite Sims YouTubers. She did every day a video throughout her entire high school career and then college. Someone tell me how she did that. I don't know how in the world she did that. I'm really struggling to do it now. Like, I I can't even keep this up, I don't think. And I'm doing three videos a day. Someone explain that. She is like a role model to me. I don't know how she did that. That is amazing. Like, I really don't understand how she did that. I mean, I watch a lot of her streams and stuff like that, and she just says a lot how she just worked really hard. And I'm just like, you do you, but I can't do more than this. Like, originally I thought I was going to do the five videos a week. That ended so fast <laughs> when I realized how long this takes for everyone to do this. I was like, no way. There's no possible way I can do this. So now we just, you know, we just do what we can. You know? So in the school year, I might have to cut down to two videos or something. I, I hopefully won't have to because I really enjoy doing this. But I also play a sport full time. <laughs> and do school full time. The way that I just said school. It was like skull. I'm not... I, I, I don't know, honestly, at this point. But, you know, it's fine. It's been so sad and stuff everywhere outside and I keep waking up really late and not wanting to do anything because, you know, it's summer so you can wake up later anyways. If any of you guys are in school, you understand what I'm talking about. So you can wake up later anyways, but that doesn't mean you can wake up at like one in the afternoon and make it, you know, make sense. But you know, that's what we're doing now. I'm waking up at like noon-ish. I mean, I'm waking up before that, but I'm getting out of bed at noon and then being like, oh no, I have to film two videos today. You're an idiot, you know? That's why I had to get a new light, because I realized that this room, as I say in like every video, I can't film after four. So I'm doing this to myself, because I'm waking up at noon and then getting out of bed, you know, eating, stuff like that. And then, after that, it's like one or two in the afternoon, and then I'm like, oh no, I have to film and edit this video by tonight. And then it's late and dark in this room. So that's why I got a different light. I stole the light out of my room. So now my room is dark. But at least this room is lighter. I mean, I did this to myself. I'm filming in a room that is a dark room and has no ceiling lights. So I'm literally doing that to myself. So I'm just going to have to buy lights or something eventually. But it's not my fault that I don't have a job. I mean, I guess technically it is. But I am only 15. So like, you can give me a break on that one. I'm technically not even allowed to get a job. Well, I am now, but I wasn't until I turned 15. So, I mean, I couldn't do any better, I guess. I guess I could have, like, mowed lawns or something, but it's not like anyone really wants to talk to people right now. Like, no one wants anyone near them. So, just, like, get away from me. Which, I mean, is my mood a lot of the time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But kind of. So, back to this house, pretty much... I made it all black and white, very modern. That is partially the reason it took me 5 billion years, because if you have watched my other videos and my other speed builds and stuff like that, I don't know how to make modern houses. It, I keep doing this to myself. I don't even remember what modern houses I made. Pretty much everyone I've done has been modern, and I don't know how to do that. I guess I did Club Calico, which isn't really modern, but it is a community lot, and you know that I have no idea what I'm doing with that one. I I only make suburban houses. Like, I'm not even joking. I, I can't even. I did, used to be able to build it all, so we're improving on this one. So I completely understand if you guys don't know how to build, because that was me, like, a month ago. It wasn't actually a month. It was, like, three months ago, kind of at the beginning of the quarantine. 
where I started practicing building. Because I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be a Sims YouTuber, then I'm going to need to know how to build. You know? We're just going to need to know how to do that. Then I started practicing. That is the key. Just practice. It's pretty much on this house. I kind of suffered. Because I make tiny houses. I love making tiny houses. So I make tiny houses and suburbans. And this was a mega modern huge house. I just, <sighs> That was just so out of my comfort zone. But I think it ended up okay. You know? This was for my save game. That is never going to come out, probably. It's probably going to take me, like, years for the save game to come out. So don't be looking for that anytime soon. Because I'm literally doing, like, a build a week. Which means that I will never get finished because this game keeps coming out with new things. You know? That's just not going to happen. So, yeah, you know? We're, we're surviving. It's going to take me as long as it takes me to do the 100 baby challenge. Which I may or may not do. I'm thinking about doing the 100 baby challenge. So would anyone enjoy that? I'm. What I might do is I might do the 100 baby challenge, but like kind of not edited that much. That sounds wrong. But I might do like a kind of unedited version so I could upload on a different day, but just like me playing the game, which I might do. I may or may not. But like I said earlier, three days a week is already too much. So I could do that instead of doing Let's Plays on Tuesday. So leave down in the comments if you want me to do that instead or like a challenge or something. Because I was thinking about doing like a legacy family. Here's a little spoiler alert. I was thinking about doing a legacy family except each legacy is a different challenge. So I'd start out with one challenge and then next legacy is a different challenge. So I was thinking of not a different legacy, a different generation. I'm a genius, you know? I'm just really going with the flow on this one. But the next generation would be a different type of challenge because, you know, there's all those different type of challenges and I can make them make up some of my own and stuff like that. So I was thinking about maybe doing that just because the Let's Play that I'm doing right now, I'm not a huge fan of. So I was thinking I might cut it off pretty early. I thought it was going to be more interesting than it was, but honestly... I forgot that The Sims off the grid doesn't have that much gameplay, and that's why no one plays with it. And then I realized I wasn't being original, other people were just being smarter than me for not playing with it because it doesn't have any gameplay value. So instead, I might do a different Let's Play because I just wasn't having that much fun with it. And I know that other people weren't just based on views and stuff like that. I just wasn't getting that many views on my videos. I mean... There's only so many views you're going to get when you're a new YouTuber, but I wasn't getting that many for being a new YouTuber. So I'm probably going to start a new one. Not necessarily because of views, but mostly because I don't want to film that. Like, that's the last thing I'm filming this week, and it's the first thing going up. That's mostly because I don't want to really do it. So I'm probably just going to do a different one, which I think makes sense. I kind of want to do, like, a evil type of challenge. Like, either make myself suffer or make my sim suffer. Being, like, the Black Widow challenge is what I'm thinking about, maybe? Or the 100 Baby challenge, which would take me literally 5,000 years. But I was saying, because that makes me suffer, and the Black Widow challenge makes the sim suffer. You see? You know, different type of suffering. Because me, I just cry internally in the 100 Baby Challenge because, you know, I cheat a lot in my gameplay and I can't cheat in that one. So, you know, that's just going to be a problem. But I was thinking about doing that one. Tell me in the comments if you want me to do the Black Widow Challenge for my next Let's Play that would come out kind of soon, in the next couple of weeks. Because I watch other people do that and that was very fun. Honestly, though, if you have any ideas for a Let's Play that you really want to see and you haven't seen any other YouTubers do, then you can just put it in the comments if you're watching this video. I mean, not that many people watch these videos, so, like, I won't get that many comments about this, but if you want to see something and you think it's a good idea or whatever, that's what I was thinking. I Whenever I'd watch these YouTube videos or whatever and they'd ask for ideas about this, I was like, why don't I just do that myself? Why don't I just 
use all these ideas that I've thought of in the past and do them myself. And that is why I started a channel all by myself because I was like, you know what? They all do it. Why can't I? I was just asking for your help and then it sounded like I was convincing you to do a YouTube channel, which, you know, go ahead and do it, honestly. If you if you have any thought about doing it, I was so scared to film my first video, but I wasn't scared to post it, which is really weird. Like, I started out, I was like, so worried about filming it, and I knew it was going to be bad, which it totally was. These videos are still bad. I mean, you've gotten this far, good for you, because these videos are still bad. But like, my first video was so bad. And I w went back and watched it like a couple days ago. Actually, when I was filming this video, when I was filming the speed build part of it, I went back and watched it and I was like, this is so bad. I wasn't just watching my own videos. I was looking for something because I was on FaceTime with my friend and I mentioned her at one point in that video. And so I was like, you know what? Let's just go back and look at this. Oh yeah, that's my friend that was in one of my last videos. Go check that video out. It was a good video. Go check it out. But pretty much in that video, I mentioned her one point. So I was trying to find where I mentioned it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I sound so timid in this. Which, I mean, I still am timid kind of when I'm filming. But honestly, I'm not. And I think that partially has to do with the fact that I moved my mic closer. My mic used to be way over here. Which you probably can't hear because it's actually really quiet. Or you might because I'm kind of yelling more so you can actually hear what I'm saying. But I had my mic so far away when I was doing that, that it sounded so dumb. And I was just like, hello, hello, and welcome back to my video. Which I just did that on purpose, so I'm sorry if that was really quiet and you couldn't hear what I said. But I pretty much said, hello, hello, and welcome back to my video. Which is no longer my intro. Well, actually, I think I use the same intro now. I just kind of said whatever I wanted to say in that first video and then was just like, you know what? We'll stick with it because I said it in that video. You know, that's just the best way to do it. If you don't know what to do as an intro, just say whatever you want and then use it as an intro. I'm saying this like I have experience. I literally have like 12 videos on my channel or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Go listen to advice from people who actually know what they're talking about. No, listen to my videos and listen to what I'm saying, but don't actually because I am a child and have only a couple videos up on my channel and only a couple subscribers. That doesn't mean anything though, because who cares about subscriber rates, honestly? Just have fun. That's what I'm doing. I just got lights that actually lighted this room, kind of. So that's, you know, impressive and I have a couple videos up on my channel and I don't really care. And I just mentioned how bad the lighting is in literally every video. I think I might make that. If I ever get merch, I think my merch is just going to be like, hello, 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 everybody, and I have bad lighting. I'm sorry. You know, that would be great merch, honestly. Like, I would wear that. I say that like I would wear that. No, I wouldn't wear that. I'm joking about that. But I should do something like that. I think that should be the slogan of our channel. Hello, 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 everybody, and I have bad lighting. Slogan for our channel. I just got an origin ID. Well, I I had an origin ID because, like, you know, everyone has an origin ID. But now you can find me on the gallery. So if you want to get this build before my save game comes out, which will be forever from now, so you might want to get this build before that, which would make sense. If you want to get this build, Ruth E. Sims, exactly how my YouTube channel is, on the Sims 4 gallery. I have posted everything that I've done for this channel on there. I deleted my other things because you don't want to see that. Because there was a point where I thought I could build so well and then I realized I was really bad at it. But like, you know those first builds when you're trying to build and you build like this huge family house and then you realize you can't fill it? Yeah. That's what I did and it looks so ugly. But you know, that's how you learn. I went off, like, this big family house, I guess, that I found online or something. And if you don't know this already, you can look up, like, reference pictures 
online or something, but you don't want to copy them directly because in real life, they look a lot different from how they should look in The Sims just because of the difference in sizing. So it's really not worth it, you know? So we're coming to the end of the video now. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to press that like button and subscribe button. Come back on Tuesday for another Let's Play episode. Bye, everybody.